Our Shopify panel is still in beta, but it can already be used for many functions, such as importing your products from Shopify. To do this, go to Account, Settings, and enter your Shopify URL here. Then click Authorize. This will redirect you to your Shopify account, where you can confirm Geek Seller's access. Once this is done, you'll see this message, your Geek Seller account is correctly linked with Shopify. From there, you can go to the Products page, which will appear blank before you import anything, and click on this green button that says Import Products from Shopify. Once this is done, you'll be able to see the status of your import here. To refresh it, simply refresh the page. Once your items have loaded, you can see them down here. Any items with variants will have this Show Variants button, which can be clicked to view all of the variants for a given item. You can also click on the item title to view the Edit Product page. Currently, this is not fully functional, so it's mainly used at the moment for viewing your item's data. So you can scroll through and view the data for your items. Eventually, this will be fully functional, but at the moment, the best use for this is just to view your data that we've pulled in from Shopify. From here, the next step will be to move your products to Jet and Walmart. So I'll walk you through that. Come up here to the Move Products to Jet button. Once you click that, it will show you here the product types or categories that you have your items under in Shopify, and then a recommended Jet category. So if you feel like this is not the most appropriate category, you can go here to Browse Categories, and then when you click here, you'll be able to search for keywords. So say it's clothing, but it's actually shirts. You can type in shirt here, and maybe it's men's hoodies and sweatshirts. Hit OK, and it'll save there. Also, if this also applies to the others, you can just paste it there, right? But in this case, I'll just leave it like this, then save and proceed. On this page, you'll see three options. You can download the information to, from Shopify to a CSV file, an Excel file, or request Geek Seller's help with importing your products. So when you request Geek Seller's help, it puts you in a first come first serve queue. This can take from days to over a week for us to get to, depending on the volume of requests that we receive. If you want to take a more hands-on approach, which we do recommend, you can download your file here. And I'll walk you through what this will look like and what kind of experience you can expect when doing this. When you're using this option, it'll open up a spreadsheet that looks like this. So you can see that I've already auto-fit my columns. It won't appear like this initially, but you can alter it just by selecting the whole page and double-clicking the joint between two columns. That will make it to where you can see all of the um, information for each field. You'll see this parent SKU. That's something I'd like to call your attention to. This is a group of products that are parent-child products, or they're in a varying group. The way that Jet has this structured, they want you to designate one item to be the parent item, and all of the other items in that group will be the child items. So all child items will have a value in this parent SKU column, but the parent SKU uh, item should have no value listed here. So it's not necessary to take this and place it here. In fact, it should be blank. So you'll see blanks here. That's totally fine. As you scroll over, you'll see the category paths. This is something that you'll need to enter. It is required by JET. So say, for example, you have these items that don't have categories already listed. We have a tool for this um, to help you find your categories in JET, and I'll go over that later on in the video so that you can see exactly how to use it. Um, when you do this, when you use that tool, it'll also populate the attributes that Jet requires for that field or for that category path. And uh, 
we'll go over that in that video. So that's that's coming later on. So don't fret about that now. You can also see the Shopify product type. This is not information that's going to be sent to Jet, but it's just here for your reference. It's something that we did pull in, but we basically pulled it in to get this information for you. As you scroll over, you'll see this area. Jet requires at least one item identifier for each item, so you'll need to provide some data here for each item. So whether it be a UPC, EAN, or whatever, it has to have, all items have to have at least one item identifier. You'll see here that you can provide your bullet points. We have uh, guidelines in our FAQ for what JET expects in their bullet points, so that can be viewed as well in Geek Seller. Here you'll find the column for images. If you have your images hosted somewhere already, you can just paste the, um, the URLs here, and when you import it, those will be associated to your products. If you don't have them hosted anywhere, but they exist on your computer, you can leave them blank for now and upload them through the Geek Seller interface once your items have already been imported. Scrolling through, you'll see these attribute columns. So these attributes are pulled in from Shopify, but they don't actually get sent to Jet. It's not information that Jet needs. Um, these, however, are required by Jet. So the, I know that the column headers appear with these numbers, but please don't remove them. This is exactly how our system needs it to be in order to read it. If you know that, for example, the, your SKUs uh, have a color already set and you know what it is and a size, you can just fill in that information here and uh, it'll import with your products. So once you're satisfied with your data here, what you can do is save your file to your computer. Then from here, you can toggle over to your JET panel, then go to Tools and import your file. Once your file is imported, you'll be able to view all of your items in Geek Seller. The process for Walmart is similar, so you'll go back to the products page and then just click move products to Walmart. You'll see you need to add a category for these as well. So for they're a little bit more simple. For clothing, you can do baby clothing, clothing and accessories, just whatever fits your products most closely. Save and proceed. You have the same options here, so I'll go through an Excel file with you again. So you can see these columns are not auto-fit yet, so I'll just select the page, double-click the joint to auto-fit the columns. Um, Walmart's spreadsheet has a lot more columns than the Jet spreadsheet. Don't worry about that. Most of these you don't have to worry about. Um, you can go through and see your SKUs, your product names, different information on your items. This, again, the URLs, it's the same as it was in, um, in the Jet spreadsheet. You can enter the URLs here or wait till you get to Geek Seller to enter them. As you scroll over, you'll find a column called Variant Group ID. So this Variant Group ID column is how Walmart structures their associated products. So in the same way that Jet has parent-child relationships, Walmart has variant groups. So instead of having one designated parent and other the other products as children, all products are equal in a group. So when you have this variant group ID, all of these will appear in one listing and uh, they'll have a drop down menu in Walmart. So it's very important to have these options filled out. Once you upload your product, um, our system will generate what other attributes Walmart should require or you can set other attributes for your items there. Once you upload your items to our system, you'll be able to set other attributes in Geek Seller for your items if uh, there's more than color and size that you'll, you'll vary by, or if there's a specific type of size. These, again, it's information that's pulled in from Shopify that won't be sent to Walmart. 
So once you're satisfied with the updates you've made to your data, you can just take your file and save it in the same way that you did for JET. Then you can toggle over to the Walmart panel, go to Tools, and import your products. And you'll be able to work with your information from there. This process will require some work to get everything set up perfectly since Shopify doesn't require as much information on your products as JET and Walmart. So you'll want to make sure that you take your time to make sure that everything is submitted correctly. Once your items have been submitted, it's more difficult to edit them. Please keep in mind that Geek Seller is always here for you if you need to reach out to have us review your data. Um, we're happy to do that, especially if you're about to submit a large amount of products. We can look over your data just to make sure that it's correct so that you can be comfortable and um, upload your products in the best way that will work for you. When you log into your Geek Seller Jet account, you can go to the Support drop-down menu, then go to Useful Links and Video Tutorials. From here, you'll see the category Submitting Products to Jet, and you can click on the link for Categories and Attributes Finder. Once you're here, you can click on the Category field and search for keywords. So say, for example, you're selling golf balls, you can type in the keyword golf and it will show you all of the items that come up under that keyword. I can see that golf balls is here. Then it'll generate the category name that can be used in your CSV or XLS file. So this value can be copied and pasted directly into your file. It also shows you the column names and possible values for your attributes for this category. So for golf balls, they want to know size and color. Here you can put any text, so you could enter standard or whatever weight it might be designated as, um, anything that might be relevant for your product. Under color, you could put anything like green, chartreuse, neon green, whatever's relevant for your item. Now, for example, if you're selling something like shoes, you can type in the keyword shoe and you'll see everything that comes up under shoes. So say that you're selling baby boy dress shoes. You'll see the value that you can paste into your spreadsheet under category. Then you'll also see we have another any text value, but we also have this attribute 83 that requires a specific value. So alternative to this any text where you can type anything in any format, when you have a list of possible values, it must appear exactly as one of these. So if you add an extra space or you misspell a word, the system won't recognize that as an appropriate value for that column. So it's very important to have the column header appear exactly as it is here if you update it via CSV or XLS. And it's also very important to make sure that it's one of these exact values. And that can be copy and pasted directly into your file. 